modalities for the creation of a new special squad, the Special Intervention Squad, has been initiated. This special squad shall consist of 40,000 specially trained allied officers. The squad will be formed by selecting officers from the pool of the existing police mobile force, PMF, personnel, and all tactical units in the country. These officers will undergo an intensive pre-deployment training to make them combat ready for frontline operational duties in all the states of the Federation, with a particular focus on areas plagued with unrest and tumor. By pulling together the expertise and experience of our PMF personnel and other tactical units, we can establish a formidable force that is well equipped to handle the evolving challenges we face today. thousand personnel from this new squad will be deployed to every state of the Federation for immediate operations as standby intervention units. More troubled zones, however, will receive the remaining officers out of the 40,000. These officers will not perform routine police duties, but will be housed and kept combat ready at all times, engaging in daily training, in readiness for deployments to intercept and neutralize high-profile criminals and those terrorizing our communities. In order to optimize the efficiency of our resources, we shall carry out a re-evaluation of the responsibilities assigned to the PMF. Specifically, we shall effect the withdrawal of PMF personnel from VIP escort through guard duties. While the protection of dignitaries remains paramount, it is imperative that we align our priorities to address the escalating security challenges faced by the nation as a whole. By relieving the PMF of VIP escort and guard duties, we can redirect their focus and efforts towards addressing critical security concerns that affect our communities at large. To this end, a special committee headed by the Deputy Inspector General of Police Operations has been set up to assess and advise on how this strategy can be implemented seamlessly. Those whose duty it is to enforce the laws of the land must themselves respect and obey the laws of the land. Without obeying the laws, the police lack the moral high ground to interrogate and bring lawbreakers to book. Consequently, in line with my vision of building a rule of law compliant police force, it is my directive that henceforth all police convoys on routine non-emergency movement must obey traffic lights and other traffic rules. I pledge to lead by example in this regard. <laughs>